Coming hard on the heels of the Vajo Aero VR headset, Pimax announced their new reality series and their new Pimax 12K QLED VR headset coming fourth quarter 2022. The specifications from Pimax read like a wish list from VR users. And following the announcement, I had to sit back and just take a moment to take it all in. Their announcement is so significant, it's verging on the, wow, is this too good to be true? There's been some big advances in VR lately, and for now, let's give Pimax the benefit of the doubt. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at some of the highlighted features. Welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark, and let's get started. Pimax already have a reputation in the market for innovation in the VR world. But this list of specifications takes things to a whole new level. Not only is this a PC VR headset, but it's also a standalone headset and with the best resolution we've ever seen. But it doesn't use Fresnel or aspheric lenses. It uses a combination of both. And the list just goes on. Let's take a quick look at some of the announced proposed specifications for this amazing headset due towards the end of next year. Let's start off by having a look at one of the most important features, their display technology. And they're introducing what they call their bionic lens system, which is a combination of Fresnel and aspheric lenses. Current VR headsets either use Fresnel or aspheric lenses, each with its own advantages and disadvantages as indicated above. Pimax say that by combining the technologies, their bionic lenses as they call them, they're able to achieve the best of both worlds and achieve the best display possible. And they also state that this new compound design of the various lens technologies will give them zero distortion. This headset's got a wide FOV, so that's very significant indeed. Furthermore, the two display technologies, LCD and OLED, have again been modded for this headset. This headset uses a modified LCD screen, with the objective of overcoming the weaknesses of LCD against OLED, such as contrast, color, and great black reproduction. Pimax state that this has been achieved by not only the addition of mini LED backlight, but also a quantum dots display panel. So what does this all mean? Let's hear from Pimax directly. Here we are introducing the second gen CLPL Pimax customized low persistence liquid display. First, let's see how it does on resolution. Check out this graph. We started with our first headset, a combined resolution of 4K on the Pimax 4K, then an 8K on the Pimax 8KX. It has, with two eyes combined, an incredible 8K resolution composed of almost 50 million subpixels. But today, we're making another leap forward beyond our existing lead position. Now, the combined resolution for the new reality series is 12K. That is a whopping 120 million subpixels, almost 2.4 times the 8KX and 4.8 times the leading competition. And let's not forget about the PPI, pixels per inch. It's a measurement of pixel density, which directly affects your viewing experience. We've achieved 1,200 PPI for the Reality Series, which is another dramatic increase over our existing flagship, the 8KX. With such an amazing resolution and PPI, we are absolutely proud to say the screen door effect on the Reality Series is solved. It's gone. 35 pixels per inch equals that of the Vajo Aero headset. This headset also features two cameras for eye tracking and automatic IPD adjustment. Of course, no Primax headset is complete without a wide FOV, and this has the widest yet, with a full 200 degree horizontal and 135 degrees vertical. So in addition to the great graphics, we now have near human range of view. And if that wasn't enough, well, it includes an improved binocular overlap, further improving the 3D impact and depth perception. The headset also features both active and passive cooling, with two fans. The second significant feature of this headset is that it can operate standalone, complements of the XR2 Qualcomm Snapdragon CPU. 
In summary, it means that you can get PC VR attached to the computer via a fiber optic cable as per normal and run VR applications directly from your PC. There's also an option if you want it to connect via wireless as well. But this headset will also feature a standalone VR engine running off the Qualcomm processor. So if mobility freedom is important to you, well it can accommodate. The rear headset adjustment has been designed to accommodate a swappable battery. In standalone mode you won't be able to run at the same FOV or the same resolution but you'll still be able to get a better performance than any other headset at the moment. Also worthy of note is the refresh rate when attached to the PC. Not only can you get 144Hz but 200 and 160 as well. Once again, something we haven't seen in a VR headset to date. This again could have a big impact on overall performance and is exciting to see it's under development. The headset features inside-out tracking with the option for base station support as an additional module. And it has 11 cameras. Yes, that's right, 11 cameras. Which include hand tracking, lip tracking, full facial expressions and full body tracking as well to make those interactive VR experiences even more realistic. It'll come with a range of hardware add-on modules at an extra cost, including improved sound, to change your tracking to base station support, as well as a mixed reality option with pass-through cameras, allowing you to interact with virtual objects, as well as a number of other options. I'll leave a link to their full presentation in the notes below. And if that's not enough for you, well, there's another curved ball. By announcing the Pimax VR Station, this is a mini PC designed exclusively for Pimax headsets. If you like, it's a console for Pimax and is apparently designed to optimize performance for this headset and in effect would replace the requirement for a PC. We don't have the details in terms of the specification for the VR Station in terms of components and storage. But suffice to say, this is the first time a VR headset manufacturers launched their own dedicated console. Pimax are calling this their VR 3.0. And the 12K QLED VR headset seems to be ticking just about every box. And by this stage in the presentation, the thought uppermost was, well, what's the price going to be? Now we don't have all the details, but this is what we know so far. Pricing will start from US$2,400 and one can only assume at this point it will include the automatic IPD and the great resolution but will exclude the cost of any add-on modules such as the improved sound or base station tracking but we await further details to establish a true cost for this headset but nonetheless it's an exciting development and for Pimax owners, well there was a further kicker and I've got to say that this one really surprised me, purely from a commercial and viable point of view. But nonetheless, great news for Pimax owners. If they own any Pimax VR headset before the shipping date of the new headset, they can get the full purchase price deducted from the 12K QLED headset. Wow! Not released at the time of this announcement was the recommended PC specifications for running this headset. I assume a fairly top-end PC and I'll announce the details as soon as they're available. Well, by any measure, that's certainly an impressive list of features offered by Pimax in this upcoming VR headset. And one just hopes that they're able to deliver on the promise and the expectation now created within the market. Either way, it's certainly a positive step in terms of the evolution of VR headsets and something to look forward to. I hope you found this useful and informative. I'll keep you updated as and when more information is available. Stay well, look after yourselves, see you soon and bye for now.